Rilke is considered to be one of the most important German language poets. His work focused on the individual's desire to really know oneself. He drew on the notions of many of the theorists of the day, Sigmund Freud, August Rodin, and Paul Cezanne. Rilke's work included several motifs or themes. Among them were roses, angels, and the need to discover the reason d'art, or the reason for existence. Why might a poet have motifs in his work? These themes are often concepts and subjects that are important to the poet. Roses were so important to Rilke that he chose a poem for his epitaph about roses. When looking at the swan, it is an object poem. Note that he describes it clumsy, lumbering, uh, as if ropes through what is not done. Uh, he's descri describing the swan as the clumsy animal it is, but noting that once the swan enters the water, it becomes one with its environment, as if that's where the animal belongs. Some important features of the swan to note is the comparison of life to a clumsy swan walking, and the fear of death. These metaphors appear in the poem to give it deeper meaning. Death's acceptance of the swan and the peace that comes with it is a large metaphor for how humans die and pass on to another world and are accepted into heaven. This poem features Rilke's beliefs about the afterlife and explain a lot of his opinions about heaven. 